I'm Kyla Lee at Acumen Law, and today we're answering your frequently asked questions about driving while prohibited. Driving while prohibited charges are very simple for the prosecution to prove. They only have to prove three things in the case. First, that you drove. Second, that you were prohibited. And third, that you knew that you were prohibited at the time that you drove. Because the Crown only has to prove those three elements, it's often easy for them to prove the case. This is particularly so because under the provisions of the Motor Vehicle Act, the Crown is allowed to rely on records held by ICBC or the Superintendent of Motor Vehicles to show that you were served a driving prohibition. This qualifies as proof both of the fact that you were prohibited at the time you drove and that you knew about the driving prohibition. However, it's not proof beyond a reasonable doubt, and you are entitled to raise a reasonable doubt by testifying as to some factor that affected your level of knowledge about the driving prohibition. In addition, these records need to comply with certain legal requirements, and they need to all align properly. We often find defenses to driving while prohibited charges by noting inconsistencies between the records held by the Superintendent of Motor Vehicles, ICBC, and the information in the police report, these inconsistencies can lead to reasonable doubt about whether or not you were actually prohibited or whether or not you actually knew that you were prohibited at the time. A lawyer knows what inconsistencies to look for in the records and what evidence might be relevant from you to establish that you didn't know that you were prohibited from driving. And it's important to have a consultation with a lawyer to find out whether or not any of these issues may apply to you.